Welcome to Bolt Energy USA. This is the 48 volt Club Car DS lithium battery conversion video. This step by step guide will demonstrate how to go from old lead acid batteries to one single Bolt Energy USA lithium golf cart battery. <laughs> Your Bolt Energy USA battery will come with either the standard or the professional installation kit. The standard installation kit is great for golf carts that have already been upgraded or restored. And the professional kit is recommended for any golf cart that needs to be upgraded to today's standards. <music> Start by removing the lead acid batteries and go ahead and clean the battery compartment. If you have a Club Car Villager model, you will need to cut the mounting bolts below the frame and move the OEM fuse block to a different location. Cut the black wire from the back of the OEM charge port. Unplug the yellow fuse on the gray wire and free the red wire for removal. On the front of the charge port, Remove the four Phillips head mounting screws and discard the OEM charge port and charging cables. Secure the Bolt Energy USA charge port cover plate using the provided hardware. Insert the AC port into the cover plate and secure with the provided screws. Access the solenoid and controller area behind the battery compartment and in the upper left hand area of the mounting panel Go ahead and unplug the OEM wiring harness from the OBC. Cut or remove all grounding wires going to the OBC, including the main B negative cable that runs through the OBC. And you can also cut and discard the gray and black wires from the OEM charge port. Cut the wiring harness close to the OBC and retain for use in upcoming steps. Remove the two 10 millimeter mounting bolts and discard the OBC. Take a photo of your solenoid for reference and remove the OEM solenoid. You can discard the B positive cable as well. Mount the Bolt Energy USA high output solenoid and install all wires exactly how they came off the old solenoid. Install the new Bolt Energy main positive cable and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Replace the main negative cable by removing it from the B negative port on the controller using a 13 millimeter socket or wrench. Secure the new Bolt Energy main negative cable to the B negative port and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Go ahead and mount the onboard charger and voltage reducer in the battery compartment. Plug in the charger pigtail to the charger output wire by clicking it into place. Next, Plug in the charger input cable to the back of the AC port. Secure all wires above the bottom of the frame. Plug the voltage reducer wiring harness into the reducer. The yellow wire is the positive input wire. The black wire is the negative input wire that will go to the negative battery terminal. The red wire is the 12 volt supply. The green wire is an activation wire that we will extend and route to the dash area. The blue wire is the constant 12 volt supply for devices with memory. For golf cars with two or more 12 volt accessories, we recommend using a fuse block. Run the red 12 volt output wire from the 12 volt reducer. And then we're going to run our ground wire from the fuse block to the battery negative terminal. The charger signal wire maintains the charger interlock safety feature that prevents the cart from moving while the charger is engaged. Connect any of the three ends of the charger signal wire to the blue wire on the retained wiring harness connection and then plug it back into the cart's main wiring harness. Insert the brackets into the battery tray Mark and drill holes in the center front of each mounting slot. Hand tighten the provided mounting hardware. 
Measure 14 inches from mounting hole to mounting hole. Then, tighten using a 13 mm socket and wrench. Set the battery on top of the mounting brackets and secure with the provided 13 mm mounting hardware. The battery is extremely secure with absolutely no room for movement. Your vehicle may have an OEM voltage reducer. This item will not be used and can be disconnected and discarded. Plug in and tighten the state of charge meter wiring harness into the display port on the battery. Route the wiring harness up to the dash area. Access the dash panel area by removing the two Phillips head screws on each side. Pull the state of charge meter wiring harness into the dash area along with the extended green wire from the Bolt Energy USA voltage reducer. On the back of the key switch, secure the green wire to the post with the OEM blue wire. This is the cold side of the key switch, which is activated when the key switch is in the on position. Our wire here goes green to yellow, then to the post with the original blue wire. Locate an area on your dash to mount your state of charge meter. There is a template for the dash mounted meter in the owner's manual packet. Cut it out and put it in place. Mark the center and trace the hole. Cut a hole using a 2 and 1 16 inch hole saw or a 2 inch hole saw. You may have to use a cutting tool if you are putting the voltage meter in place uh, where there was an existing device. Pull the state of charge meter wiring harness through the hole. Secure the wiring harness to the meter and then insert the meter into the hole. And warning, do not press the center of the meter when you're pushing it into place. Secure the meter to the dash panel with the provided U bracket and wing nut. Finalize by securing excess wire and putting the dash panel back in place. Starting with the positive side, go smallest to biggest, biggest touching the terminal. The smallest item is the yellow wire from the 12 volt reducer. Next is the red wire from the charger pigtails. And the final wire is the new main positive cable. Secure to the positive post and using a torque wrench, tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Then go ahead and put the positive terminal cover in place. Same thing on the negative side, smallest to biggest. The smallest item is the ground for our 12 volt fuse block, followed by the black wire from the voltage reducer wiring harness. Next is the black wire from the charger pigtail. And finally, the new main negative battery cable. Secure to the negative post using a torque wrench. Tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Finalize by putting the negative terminal cover in place to prevent cross terminal arcing. Plug in and tighten the Bluetooth receiver to the BT port on the battery and go ahead and secure it by using the magnet on the back side of the receiver. Test for cart operation by pressing the on off button on the battery. The light will illuminate. The state of charge meter will come on. Next, put the golf cart in run. Turn the key switch to on. Put the golf cart in forward and lightly press the accelerator until the solenoid clicks and the golf cart moves. The battery should arrive at 50% or less on the state of charge meter. We recommend running a complete charge cycle before using the battery. While you're waiting for your Bolt battery to charge, go ahead and download the Bolt Energy USA mobile application in the Android or iOS stores. This free mobile application allows you to see your battery's data in real time. The update firmware feature means that existing owners will always have the ability to update their battery's firmware should an update become available in the future. But the best feature of the app you'll probably never need to use 
The Send Data feature makes diagnosing your Bolt Energy USA battery very easy in the extremely rare event of a warranty claim. If you experience any issues with a Bolt Energy USA battery, simply email one of our technicians your data log and receive an instant resolution. Thank you for watching the Bolt Energy USA Lithium Battery Conversion video for the 48 Volt Club Car DS. We hope this video answered any questions you may have had. If you have additional questions or would like to purchase a Bolt Energy USA battery, please visit the links in the description of this video. We recommend the dealer locator link to find an authorized dealer near you. You can also find reputable online dealers as well. There is also a link to our 10-year warranty page that will answer any questions regarding the warranty on your Bolt Energy USA battery. You can call us directly at the number listed below during normal business hours if you need technical support. As always, hit the like and subscribe button. We have more lithium product informational videos and installation videos coming out on a regular basis. So we hope to see you next time. We appreciate you watching and for considering Bolt Energy USA lithium battery products. Thank you.